Hi, today someone asked me uh, how to add uh, reverb um, and echo type effects to your track. So first of all, record your track, like so. Click the record button and... Okay, once you've finished your recording, click the E button for uh, edit the channel settings, and then go to the left here and select, just press the button, it'll come down with a drop down menu, select um, modulation, and underneath modula, sorry, uh, underneath modulation, select, uh, I've got Roomworks, um, I think this came with the program. And it comes up with this box here, um, reverb time and mix and so on. Now, on the right, there's a little square there. You have to select that and click load preset. When you click load preset, it comes up with options like a guitar or let's go for guitar, plucked guitar. Okay. And it's an acoustic guitar. So we'll go auto preview. Um, and it's come up with brighter drums. I'm not quite sure why that is. We'll click OK. Uh, once that's done, play back and see what it sounds like. Like so, click the record button and... So you can hear the effect of the reverb. Remember, it only goes on the playback you can't hear that when you're actually recording. You see, I'm just recording flat like this. That's all you're going to hear, but on the playback, um, you'll hear the actual echo. So then you want to adjust the amount that's on there. You will adjust the mix button. So over here is the mix button. I reduce the mix button to zero, that's flat. I increase echo, uh, reverberation, sorry. And reverberation time, you can make it last. Okay, once you finish. You can adjust the reverberation time to three and a half seconds if you want, five seconds, or four. just adjust that to, to what you'd like the sound to be like. People tend to give too much reverb, especially on the voice. So I, I usually go for about maybe two or three seconds on the voice and I mix, I set the mix button to about eight for vocals. Okay, I hope that helped you learn how to, to set up the reverb. And if you want to set up echo, it's the same procedure. You're gonna click the E button again. Okay, go to the left. Uh, left mouse button click will give you the drop down menu and it has various um, selections here you've got modulation room works and then but at the top you've got ping pong delay and if you click that that gives you a uh, an echo in fact so as you can see, the delay is one second here. If you click the sync button, remove that, you can adjust it from 50 milliseconds, that's what that is there, 51 thousandths of a second, to, you typically go about quarter a second or 200 milliseconds for vocal. Um, I'll try it on, on the guitar and we'll see what it sounds like. And then just the mix down it, and you always find these very high. I usually go for about 10% or something. You can play with the feedback and the spatial will transfer the echo from one side left to the right channel like that, see? So you can play with these various buttons to see the effect. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll play back the track now and you can see as I pan across the, the different buttons, you can see what it sounds like. So here we go. Like so, click the record button and... Increase the echo now. You can hear the echo coming. 
a bit too much. Back it off. Spatial. Okay, takes, it, it, takes it back to the, the various left to right. Uh, gives a different effect between the left and the right speaker. A bit more or less of the echo will shoot itself across. And uh, I'll just play again and you'll see what the feedback does. That'll increase the amount of times it will echo. It's a bit too much, so back it off. Okay, once you finish. So about 16 and a mix of about 20 would probably be about right for this track. So you can play around with those buttons and create more or less delay depending on the kind of effect you want. And I hope that helped you learn about uh, reverberation and delay using Cubase.